Good afternoon. This is Father Steve Connor from Holy Trinity Episcopal Church. And as we begin this morning, let us pray. The Lord be with you. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name forever. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Amen. Today, I'd like to ask each of us to be hopeful, to do something that brings you life. Early this morning when I was walking my dog Wiley, the sunrise on the beach was magnificent. The colors of orange and gold and the waves crashing against the shore. And as we walked around, it seemed like every house I passed, there were daffodils and crocuses. The trees were like so ready to burst forth. And even now the sun is beautiful in the sky. We need some hope. We need faith that this is not the way our lives are going to stay. Just like as the seasons change, we know that spring is coming. And spring brings with it new life and hope and joy. So today, I ask you, do something that brings you joy. Do something that brings you hope. Bring something that enlivens your spirit and lets you know that God is with you, your church is with you, and that you are on our minds and our hearts. And let us hold each other in hope and in joy. As many of you know, one of my favorite poets is Mary Oliver. And this is one of her poems. It's entitled, Praying. It doesn't have to be the blue iris. It could be weeds in a vacant lot and a few small stones. Just pay attention. Then patch a few words together and don't try to make them elaborate. This isn't a contest, but the doorway into thanks and a silence into which, into which another voice may speak. So today, let us pray. Let us make it simple. Maybe our prayer is a walk in our neighborhood. Let us ask God grace and peace to be with us. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come before you this day looking at your shining face in our lives. Send your spirit of hope and calm, your spirit of peace and joy. Fill us with the budding flowers of spring, the flowers that show us the radiance of your creation. Give us strength and calm to live through these times. And we ask this in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you now and forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless to you all.